Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Editing the Subcircuit in eSIM. In this tutorial, using eSIM, we will learn to edit a subcircuit to modify the component schematic. To record this tutorial, we will use Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, eSIM version 2.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know to create and simulate a circuit and a sub-circuit in eSIM. If not, watch the prerequisite eSIM tutorials on this website. To launch eSIM, you need to double-click on the eSIM icon on your desktop. I have already opened eSIM. On the eSIM window, click on the Subcircuit button from the left toolbar. A subcircuit tab will open up. In the previous tutorial, we have seen to create a subcircuit. Let us now edit a subcircuit of a half adder. In the subcircuit tab, click on the Edit Subcircuit Schematic button. The subcircuit library opens up. Select the half underscore adder and click on the open button. The schematic of half adder subcircuit opens in E schema. Press F1 key to zoom in the schematic. Let us connect an additional inverter gate to the output of the AND gate. On E schema, click on the Place Component tool from the right toolbar. Click on the editor. In the filter field, type eSIM underscore digital. Select D underscore inverter. And click on the OK button. The inverter is tied to the cursor. Place it below the port D. Connect a wire from pin 3 of the AND gate to pin 1 of the inverter gate. A junction will be placed. Now we will connect a port to the inverter output. Click on the Place Component tool from the right toolbar. Click on the editor. In the filter field, type eSIM underscore miscellaneous. Select Port from the list. Click on the drop down arrow. Select Unit E and click on the OK button. Place the port E near the output pin of the inverter. Place the cursor on the port unit E and press the R key to rotate. In the Clarify selection window, select Component Port U and press the R key. Connect the output pin of the inverter to port unit E. The port unit E will be pin 5 of the component schematic. Now we will annotate the schematic. Click on the annotate schematic components icon from the top toolbar. Keep the default settings. Click on the annotate button. Click on the OK button. Press Ctrl S keys together to save the schematic. To generate a netlist, click on Generate Netlist. Select the Spice tab and check the default format. Click on the Generate button. Then click on the Save button. This creates the keycat netlist of the half adder subcircuit. Let us go back to the eSIM window. In the subcircuit tab, click on the Convert Keycat to NGSpice button. You can specify the transient analysis parameters or leave them blank. I am leaving these values blank. Skip the NGSpice model and device modeling tabs. If any device modeling or subcircuit is used, please specify here. 
press the convert button in the keycat to ngspice tab click on the ok button in the information dialog box this creates the ngspice netlist of the sub circuit an additional port is added to the half adder sub circuit hence the component schematic has to be modified to include pin 5 go back to the half adder schematic on the schematic editor click on the library editor icon from the top toolbar it directs us to the part library editor window click on the file option in the top menu and click on the current library option scroll down and choose eSIM underscore subcircuit click on the ok button you can see the path of the selected library is displayed on the top of the part library window click on the load component to edit from the current library icon in the top toolbar click on the half underscore adder and click on the ok button place the cursor on pin 4 c out press yum key to move the pin and place it just below pin 3 click on add pins to component tool from the right toolbar click on the editor pin properties window will appear enter pin name as out if you wish you can give any other pin name of your choice pin number should match with the port unit name port e represents pin 5 of the sub circuit enter pin number as 5 enter orientation as left as it is an output pin enter electrical type as output keep graphic style as line you can choose orientation and electrical type based on the requirement of the sub circuit click on the ok button the pin is attached to the cursor place it below pin 4 with a single click now let us save the schematic symbol press ctrl s keys together to save the schematic in the confirmation box click on the s button in the second confirmation box click on the s button you can save the component using the save current library to disk icon from the top toolbar you can select the current library using the select working library option you can delete the component using the delete option you can also use update current component in current library option from the top toolbar this will save the modified component to the current library there is also an option create a new component from the current one in the top toolbar this imports the schematic of the components and can be used to create a new one let us now close the part library editor window now let us simulate a circuit with the newly added sub circuit and its component let us open the half underscore adder from the example folder of eSIM. On the eSIM window, click on the Open Project button from the top menu. Locate the directory where eSIM is installed and click on the example folder. Select half underscore adder and click on the Open button. The half underscore adder is added to the eSIM window under projects. To open the schematic, select half adder from projects. Click on the open schematic button from the left toolbar. It directs us to the schematic editor. Zoom in the schematic by pressing F1 key. Let us replace the half adder sub circuit with the modified half adder component. Click on the place component tool from the left toolbar. 
click on the editor. In the filter field, type eSIM underscore subcircuit. Scroll down and select the half underscore adder. Click on the OK button. Place and connect it as shown here. Similarly, connect DAC, plot V1 and global label out as shown here. Now, annotate the schematic using annotate schematic components from the top toolbar. Generate the spice necklace. Refer to the previous tutorials to learn annotation and generating the necklace of the schematic. Save the schematic by pressing Ctrl S keys together. Let us go back to the eSIM window. Click on Convert KeyCat to NGSpice button from the left toolbar. Let us not change the transient analysis parameter. Click on the Source Details tab. Enter 5 volts for DC source V1 and V2. Skip the NGSpice model and device modeling tab. In the Subcircuit tab, click on the Add button. Click on half underscore adder and then click on the open button. In the KCAT to NGSpice tab, press the convert button. Click on the OK button in the information dialog box. Now to generate the plots, click on the simulation button from the left toolbar. An NGSpice terminal and plot windows open along with the Python plot window. Since both the inputs are 5 volts, the sum is 0, carry will be 5 volts, and the output will be 0 volts. Close the NGSpice plot and terminal windows. In the Python plot, check the sum node, Cout node, and the out node. Click on the plot button. You can see the plots for some C out and out nodes. Close the Python plot window. Let us now summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to edit a subcircuit and to modify the component schematic. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. For any general or technical questions on eSIM, visit the FOSI forum and post your question. The FOSI team coordinates the circuit simulation project. We give certificates and honorarium to the contributors. For more details, please visit this website. The FOSI team coordinates the lab migration project. For more details, Please visit this website. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Gloria N. from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.